The Secure Rope Quickset is a vertical cable lifeline designed, tested and certified according to ANSI 14.3 ANSI Z359 The Secure Rope Quickset vertical lifeline is composed of five key components. The 8mm 5x16-inch cable, straining 7x7 7 7 in stainless steel, AC316, the top anchor. The immediate anchor if the vertical lifeline is higher than 10 meters, 32 foot. The bottom anchor with tensioner. The glider. To execute this installation, the certified installer must have the following tools. A meter, a torque wrench, an M10 socket, flat key size 17 and 19, a pliers, a set of allen keys, a grinder, electric tape or similar to put on cable prior to cutting, Loctite glue. The first step is to install the cable onto the top anchor. This operation can be carried out while being safely on the ground. Use a pair of pliers to manipulate the stainless thimble and insert it on the top anchor. Once inserted, mold it back to its original shape. Check out the drawing on the swageless end. It shows the direction in which the cable must be inserted through the piece. Make sure that the cable is cut neatly before doing this operation. No bits of cable should protrude. Insert the end of the cable through the swageless termination. Pass the cable through the top anchor and the thimble. Form a loop and insert it back inside of the swageless termination. Use your hands or a plier to make the smallest loop possible. Put Loctite glue on the threads. Note that the headless screws have already had Loctite glue. Tighten the headless screws in the order indicated on the swageless termination. First tighten the central bolt, then the bolt nearest to the top anchor, then the bolt near the cable ends. Place the NSV-018 top bracket behind the rungs. The top bracket must be fixed on three separate rungs. If the roof extension hinders the access to the platform, the top anchor can be placed on the left side of the ladder. The technicians fix the three counterplates with two M10 bolts. They tighten each bolt progressively and ensure that the roof extension is perfectly vertical. The tightening torque for the M10 fasteners is 25 newton meter, 18 pound per foot. The intermediate bracket and bottom bracket are delivered with two types of U-bars. The first model is for rungs with a width of between 10 and 20 millimeters, 0.4 inch to 0.8 inch. The second model is for rungs with a width of between 20 and 30 millimeters, 0.8 inch to 1.18 inch. Before climbing up the ladder, verify on one rung which U-bolt best fits the ladder. Uncoil the cable and let it descend gradually. Measure the distance down the top anchor. If the vertical lifeline is longer than 10 meters, 32 foot, an intermediate anchor must be fitted on the ladder. The intermediate anchor can be opened and inserted on the cable at any point. They can even be retrofitted on an existing lifeline. Fit the bracket to the rung with the U-bolt. Make sure the cable is properly aligned. The tightening torque for the M10 fasteners is 25 newton meter, 18 pounds per foot. Go to the ground level and mount the bottom anchor on the ladder rungs. Install the thimble on the tensioner. Fit the tensioner on the bottom anchor and put a first nut on the thread. Simulate the length of cable required to form the bottom loop and mark that point. Put tape on the cable and cut it. Make sure the swageless termination is facing the correct way. Pass the cable through the swageless termination, through the bottom anchor and the thimble. Form a tight loop. 
Put the headless bolts on the termination. First, tighten the central bolt. Then the bolt nearest to the bottom anchor. Then the bolt near the cable ends. Tighten the lifeline with help of the threaded bar. Green paint on the tensioner indicates that the lifeline has the proper tension. Put Loctite on the threaded bar of the tensioner and put on the counter nut. Tighten the counter nut to avoid any risk of loosening. Cut the extra length of cable. Open the vertical fall arrest glider by lifting the cam and pushing the trigger. Insert the vertical lifeline glider on the cable. Verify that the vertical lifeline glider locks instantly on the cable. Once released, you can safely connect to the sternal anchor point of the harness. Install the identification plate in the area where the end user first reaches the vertical lifeline. The identification plate is composed of a stainless steel plate, a UV and rain resistant paper on which is printed all the reglementary information, a seal with a unique serial number. By scanning the QR code, the end user can access the installation details, the inspection history and the user manual. The Quickset Vertical Lifeline, an easily mounted solution for maximum vertical safety.